Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about AM workflow. We already have a detailed series about workflow over this channel. So, but as part of this tutorial, I'll talk about the basics of workflow, assuming that you are a beginner. So let me read a one liner definition from Adobe document about workflow. Then we'll talk about this. AM workflow allow you to automate a series of steps that are performed on one or more pages or assets. So what do you mean by that? Let me explain in a generic term. Whenever you want to perform any task or a series of tasks means multiple tasks when some triggered happen. So that functionality can be achieved using workflow. Example is, let's say you want to create a version of page whenever your page is modified. So that thing can be achieved by workflow and this, this whole functionality creating of version should trigger itself. That means it should be automated. So these functionalities can be achieved using workflows. Let's understand some terms here. What do you mean by automate? So as I said, when any functionality kicks in by itself when some trigger is happened. So that is called automate. Steps means task. You can have one task or a series of tasks. Let's say you have multiple functionalities to achieve. You can divide those in a particular steps and steps steps and you can perform either in series or in parallel pages means pages or asset means these are payload whatever the payload you give to that functionality means whatever the payload upon which this functionality will be executed means the payload to that workflow i understand as a beginner this can be confusing so let's understand by a demo so we have a dedicated console available for workflow so when you land on your home page here go to the tools and the second option is workflows you will see a five different options means five different styles here these are used to create and check workflow trigger workflow so basically let's talk about these styles this model basically this is the core of your workflow means whatever the functionality your workflow is achieving that functionality is written here there are number of steps available these models can be constructed by steps right there are some out of the box steps available with aem if your functionality cannot be achieved with available these steps you can write your own so here you'll create a model and model is a core of your workflow instances if your particular instance of workflow is running you can see those here only the running instances let me go back here launcher how your workflow will trigger itself means how you automate your workflow so for that you create a launcher we'll see that in demo so to trigger workflow automatically you create a launcher inside launcher you define how and when your workflow will trigger archive all the completed workflow will be available here failure if any of the workflow is failed you can see this failed instance here so let's understand now in the demo what i'll do as i explained in this tutorial will create a workflow which will be triggered whenever you update or modify page every time when you modify page it will create a version of that page right version i have already explained in previous tutorial and that will be triggered that will be triggered when you modify so to create workflow first you have to create a model go to models and you will see the already available models you can reuse those if you need it for for our case let's create a new model and name it demo model you can name it anything done so as soon as you create, you will see a new model here. But right now, this doesn't have any functionality because we did not add any steps to it. You, we have to add steps to work workflow. So what I'll do, select here and go to edit. You will see here flow start and flow end. In between, you add your steps, means you add your desired functionality. One step is already added here to choose participant, but we will keep it very simple. So we'll not use this for now. Let me remove this, just delete that. So 
in the left hand side you will see the number of steps available to achieve different different functionality you can reuse those and you can add any number of any steps whatever you need you can add in series and parallel that is already explained in detail workflow series you can go back and check that once you have some understanding of workflow so what i'll do i'm i want to create version so there is already a steps available with create version so i search that and i'll use it here right if you want to give some parameters or something you can add it as well here but i don't need to give anything because it straight away create the version of page okay so i'm not doing anything as of now done so this is very simple you can add more steps to achieve your functionality but for now we need to create only version don't forget to click on this this is very important if you see the white here it won't work your workflow won't work i'll talk about why because your workflow is stored at two places okay so just click on this sync as soon as you sync here you will see the green here and the text change synced so it should be in this phase now my workflow is created my model is created but as the definition says to automate but it's not necessary to trigger this automatically you can trigger this workflow manually manual or you can trigger this workflow by code as well right automate trigger is one of the option so we but we'll create a launcher right this is done now go back uh, go back to this screen again and go to the launcher so what i want i want to create this whenever i modify a page so my model is ready remember the name of your model means whatever the name it was so name was demo model so come here click on this launchers so in this screen you will find number of the launchers which are already there so what i'll do we'll create one launcher for, to trigger our model trigger our workflow create here and just add launcher you will see here what is your event type whether you want to trigger this on create modify or remove so i want to trigger this on modify right what is your node type here you have to mention the primary type of your node so there must be cq page here cq page okay you will see the cq page and page content so go back and check your page what is the primary type because sometimes it's a cq page and sometimes it's a page content how you configure the, your pages so let me go here and d all right so i will trigger that workflow on my geeks tutorial here for this site right so check the pages here and it's it's cq page content right so i'll add the node type is a cq page content here right path against which path you want to trigger means under which path this launcher will activate and trigger workflow so what i'll say i will say i want to trigger only for my this geeks tutorial that's it whatever the page updated modified for this website this launcher should trigger right even you can define for a particular section of pages or even a particular page so done whether you want to run on author or publish or both because we modify pages only on author so i'll keep it only on author you can choose as per your need there are some other functionalities other options as well we'll not choose that important here is workflow model now whatever the models you have you will find those model in this drop down so search for your model our model was demo model right demo it should be see this is what we created choose that model right you can give description or something and activate this right and just save it so you will see a newly created model pardon not model launcher you will see this here uh, created this one you see this one has been created here now my launcher is also ready now let's check an update page so if i come here and let's see go to my site and any page here let's say any page inside en and let's see this page so right now you will see in left hand side no version added right so let me add it that and what i'll do i'll even let me add a component just a component anything right a component has been added ideally whenever i modify this 
this workflow should kicks in and there should be a version let me do it let me refresh this here see here now even it's saying the page edited and see version created right and this workflow kicks in started and its step is ver version created so that workflow is kicked in based on our trigger means based on our launcher so the intention of this tutorial not to explain the functionality of workflow the intention is you need to understand the workflow launcher and its concept right now if you see that workflow triggered right now come back here in this now what you need to see here instances you won't see any instance because there is a no running instance that workflow instance is already completed launcher i have explained archive so you must see one instance in archive which is the workflow instance which is completed right away if you see you will find one and you will see the needed of I mean, information here failure you won't see because nothing has been failed now so now where is store at what places as i said let me show you so there are two places it's stored right your actual workflow model is stored under conf and your running instance of that workflow store under war so let me show you by crxt here so first it places two places means your actual model stored under conf and it should be in global and workflow model so you will see our newly created model here right and even launcher okay i and you see even the launcher as well here now this is the model but your running instance is stored under war so actual workflow functionality kicks in here go to the war and go to the more workflow and the models you will find a demo model here see here now here you will see all the steps added all the nodes are there so you see the start node create version node and my end node so you will see the actual instance which is taking the functionality from here right the two places it's stored as i said you can start the workflow manually as well i won't be able to show you using code but i'll show you how you can trigger manually so go here and you see the start workflow now you have to provide payload means what is the payload payload is page as we define this workflow work for the page so let me choose it one and here go again here and let's say this one en page now home page and if i click here and say run right so one more workflow instance has been run now and you will see the two instances here see this one right two instances so even you can see the page right this page this workflow trigger you can see two instances of this create version so why this has happened this is because of because of the launcher when i trigger this manually this workflow added one property means updated the property of page to add metadata as soon as that triggered that launcher kicks in because launcher identifier the page has been modified so that that actually launcher trigger one more version of it so that's the reason you shouldn't worry about it you must understand the concept of workflow so as i said when you start your development part means development tutorials there is a already detailed series available about workflow backend which explain all the aspect all the backend modules and everything i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you